So we're going to do an analysis of a match I had at the Pan Pacific Jiu-Jitsu Championships just two weeks ago. I was fighting a, a Brazilian... Uh, this is the, the final of the event. I was fighting a Brazilian named Diego. And he actually turns out he has quite a good turtle guard. So um, unfortunately, I, I went for his back three times and I actually missed missed the back take three times. I like to get points for one of them. Uh, but on uh, a good thing that came out of it is I got to use my half guard quite a, a lot when I got onto the bottom. So we're going to have a look at uh, some of the times I got to use my half guard and just some of the points I used to make sure uh, I was able to get the, the sweep to work. So here I am chasing the back here and I actually got flipped right off underneath side control. So let's first have a look at how I recover from side control straight into my into my half guard. So I'm turned on my side right now, trying to get my leg back in. And as he moves his hips away, that's going to open up space for my right hand to come. I'm going to bring my right hand underneath and start basically looking to come up like it's, like it's a double leg. So let's watch this. My right arms come through underneath the near leg here. But I'm going to end up, yeah, there we go, reaching for the fire leg now. So now all I've got to do is get to my knees. Here we are. I have a chance at going for a takedown here, but he actually sprawled quite well. So I pull myself back into to half guard. You'll see here I've already got an underhook set up straight away. And I'm going to look to hook that right leg so that he can't pass. But first, I've already got the hook, sorry. Okay, now, look at... Diego's position he's quite low and I'm reaching I've just got a grip on the the pants here what I want is for him to come more forward I need his his weight more forward so let's have a look at at how I go about achieving that one of the best ways is actually from here I actually want to get up so I kind of like get my head up in the air like I'm giving him a cross face and then I want to fall underneath uh, towards him reaching for this leg and that's going to pull his hips forward and let me get underneath a bit more so here we are I'm starting to reach Starting to get up on my arm and reach underneath. Diego's sprawling back. He's doing all the right things here, but by in doing so, that's let me get a really good angle to trap the, the leg. And I'm about to do the sweep, so let's have a look at that, and then we'll go back into how I do it. Let me sweep, and I get on top. Back into another back take here like this. So I got two points there. Let's just go back to here. So I've got a good underhook. I would... Ideally, if I was a bit further down, this underhook would be reaching to the far hip, but all I could reach was the near hip, so I'm going to keep that elbow nice and tight so there's no room for him to pummel that, that hand through. Okay, you see me switch legs there. Just have a look at that once more. My left leg's going to come over the top of his leg. Okay, this now means uh, my, I can start working to get towards my knees because my left leg's controlling. I can start to free my right leg and start to get up. Straight away, Diego senses that, and he's got his overhook here. So he's overhooked my underhook. He's waiting to, to try to stop me from, from driving, okay? He's really heavy on that overhook. Uh, he's got no post underneath him. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll my shoulder, my right shoulder down underneath between his legs and bridge up over the top. So once I get the pants in particular, now, I really like getting his pants gripped before I go for the sweep because otherwise he can post on that leg. See how I'm holding that leg? If I wasn't holding it, he could potentially be stepping back and putting it on the mat, which makes it much harder to get up. So holding that leg, and see how my elbow's a little bit bent here? I'll often straighten it at first to get them over the line, and then I pull it back in so that they can't post uh, as easily. Okay, now we're in good position. I just need to get up to my legs. Here, yeah, you see I'm still holding that leg. He's turned his back. And there's our first half guard sweep. Now I'm going to do the same half guard sweep again in a moment. So I end up, I ended up back in my close guard. All right, here we are. You can get a good look from a different angle. So we're in butterfly guard. Diego's trying to bury his his head down. And here. I'm going to take my right leg, and now I've locked into the half guard. I've already got my left knee shield up, blocking him from closing the gap, so he can't 
I never want to be flat on my back. I never want him to be chest to chest on me. So I go for the far collar. Diego puts his head down. I'm going to start working for the underhook very soon. Here we go. And there we go. Now, again, this is something I really use quite a lot. I'm sitting really far forward. I'm up on my right elbow here. Diego doesn't want me up. And he feels like he can cross face me. But when he drives, goes to drive me back, that's going to let me scoot underneath him a little bit further. Okay, so I'm up on my arm. He's going to try to cross face and drive me back. And you see how I tried to bring his hips forward? Now he was aware of that and he sprawled, but it let me get my arm a little bit deeper. So let's have a look again. Arm up. So I get up on this right arm like this. My arm's not very deep. And then when I fall underneath, yes, climb that arm deeper. Okay, so I've got a better underhook now. I'm attached to his hips. I can keep working underneath. Now I'm going to do it again. Let's have a look at how I use my my right arm here to get up. So this is really important. So in a moment, when I get my deeper underhook, so I reach here. Okay, now I'm flattened out and I want to get back up. I'm going to put my elbow out in front of me, pull it behind my, like above my head, and then get up on my elbow from there. Watch this. Elbow in front, up and forward. And now I'm back in we're in this same spot again, but I've now got a better underhook than I had before. So I'm a little bit further through where I want to be to get the sweep. Let's have a look again. Now I've already got the leg dragged. I can start to reach for the far leg again. We're in the exact same position. I roll and I get the same sweep as before. Again, watch me. I've got my grip. I'm going to get up on that arm that elbow, pull it behind me, I grab the far leg, and I feel that he's overhook, he's got no post with that right hand, at least not right now, and I roll, boom, he's too late, he tried to post, but it was too late, I get the sweep, and again, to the turtle, um, okay, oh, I went for the crucifix in, in this scenario, um, anyway, at the, at the end of the match, I end up back in half guard one more time, and he reacts a little differently this time. Uh, he, he's been swept the same way twice, and so now he's going to lean away, which is going to let me to come up for a single leg. Okay, so here we are. I've got my underhook again. Hard to see because it's under the jacket, but I've reached to his, his pants here. I've grabbed that same pant leg. I've hooked with my left leg. I'm starting to turn the pressure on the knee. If you've seen my, D my seminar, you'll know that I like to do that. But this time, instead of pressuring in, he decides to back away so I actually try to pull him back there have a look at that I tried to do that same sweep I got my grips I go to pull and he leans away okay so as soon as he leans away that means he's got no, no pressure on me I can start to get up to my knees okay really important point you don't want to stay on the once they start standing you don't want to stay on the underhook when you change your underhook to grab the leg because uh, they have a chance to re-pummel so as soon as he starts to, to get up here, I'm going to change my left hand there to grab the leg. And we're in a single leg. Uh, I, went, I go to finish the single leg. He actually tries to jump a triangle choke, which was somewhat dangerous, actually. But I managed to free myself from it. So you see he's got his foot to the outside. I should have been aware of that. Now, here's potentially a problem. He's jumped for the triangle. Um, and all he needs to do is be able to uh, free this leg, this right leg a little bit more so that he can actually be able to lock his legs together and I'm going to be in big danger. So I've sprawled heavily on that leg. I can feel if I keep my weight on it, he's not going to be able to bring this foot up to be able to connect and close over that one. And then I'm just, with, with my weight sprawled there, I'm going to step over just to make myself safe from the triangle. There we go. And now that I've stepped over the leg, I feel a lot more confident. I'm going to work to get myself back up and I get my two points. And here we are. So I'm on top with the two points.